My name is Simon Rice. And my name's Daniel Murray. We are both students up at the University of Maine. For our mechanical engineering technology program, Capstone, we built and engineered this trike. The trike needed to be comfortable, low cost, rugged, and designed for off-road conditions. It also needed to carry cargo and provide a way for a person to transfer into the vehicle from a wheelchair. Being off-road capable is an important part of our trike design. According to the CIA Factbook, only 18% of roads in Mozambique are paved. Many of the people that are affected by landmines are in rural areas with little to no infrastructure. This is our design for landmine victims in Mozambique. Our trike design is a front wheel independent drive with a rear caster wheel. To turn, one brake lever is held while the opposite handle is cranked. Our trike is designed for an average adult but can be made in several models for different body sizes. The main part of our trike is a triangulated space frame made from electrical conduit which is thin wall steel tubing. This is a low cost material that is easy to find, lightweight and easy to work with. The frame alone weighs 25 pounds and the whole trike weighs 72. Our drivetrain is provided by two bicycle rear swing arms that are flipped upside down and bolted onto the frame. The advantages of using a swing arm is that the gears and the brakes are already attached and everything is simply bolted on. We utilize tie rods to support the swing arm against static and dynamic side loading on the tires. To gear the bike down, we use the stock front gears and attach a large sprocket to the rear cassette. This provides plenty of torque while using hand power. There are a total of three gears that are changed manually. The ratios are 1 to 0.6 underdrive, 1 to 0.9 underdrive, and 1 to 1.1 overdrive. An important part of our design is the suspension system for the two front tires. We used two bikes with shocks and bolted them on. This minimizes shock loads for the user while they are traveling on rough terrain. Due to the rear wheel wobble we encountered during testing, a dampener was attached to provide smooth turning and high speed stability. The seat is made from lawn chair type fabric that is supported with surplus parachute cord. This style seat is extremely comfortable, eliminating pressure points and providing support for the legs. The vertical hand grips provide ergonomic comfort and brake handles stay within easy reach. The transfer board is used to help a person get into and out of the trike. The dowel fits into a hole in the seat so that the board won't accidentally slip off. When not in use, the bottom of the board fits into a bracket and is secured with a piece of Velcro. Cargo such as water can be carried in a 5 gallon bucket that is designed to fit into the rear of the trike. We wanted to make sure our trike would be satisfactory in demanding terrain in Mozambique. To do this, we sought out local areas and conditions that simulated that type of terrain. Sometimes the trike can lose momentum when traversing rough or steep terrain. In these situations, the driver can utilize the ratcheting technique. This is accomplished by using a three-step process. The first step incorporates your power stroke, which is both arms pushing forward. This movement activates your stronger muscle groups to provide maximum torque. At the end of the power stroke, the brakes are then applied to hold your position. Keeping the brakes applied, one can bring both arms back and repeat the process. This technique makes crossing rough terrain surprisingly easy. Our trike incorporates dual front wheel drive. This provides several advantages for the rider. With 65% of the weight distributed among the two front tires, overall traction is greater than one wheel drive systems. The low center of gravity aids in maintaining this tractive effort. As you can see, this type of terrain is less than optimal. It is vital for the driver not to get stuck under any situation. This test simulates a worst case scenario. Out of the several runs we did, we never got stuck. We hope that our design will create a life-changing product for the unfortunate victims of landmines in Mozambique.